Have you ever run into the situation where you are working on a project and it's time to use some textures and materials and whatnot and you think, oh that's not a problem, I have hundreds of thousands of textures in my hard drive already, all I need is to take a look, and then you quickly overwhelm yourself with the amount of folders you need to browse through and you are like, god I wish there was a magic button that sets up all these textures automatically, renders and catalogs them, and so I can just pick and use the one I want. Well. If you've been waiting for such a magic button, wait no more. Let's see how our add-on works. First we need to install. For that we will go to edit, preferences and then install. Make sure you click add-ons over here so and then install. I will go to downloads where I have the add-on in zip format and all I have to do is install add-on. So it will appear over here. We just need to enable it. And once we enable it, we can see it on this side panel over here. Now, it's a pretty simple add-on. All you have to do is give a parent folder where you have your textures and a target folder where the Blender materials will be saved. Now, this add-on works with Blender 3.0 and above. So, it um, harnesses the power of new Blender asset library. For that, I will go ahead and open asset browser over here. Go to shading tab. Now all I have to do is show where my textures are. So I click the folder button. I just created this folder as a demonstration. Let's say our textures are in the parent folder. So all I have to do is give this parent folder as, a, as the main folder, right? So imagine I have textures from different resources, from different websites in these three different folders. I have seven textures here, nine textures here and so on, right? I have individual textures in each one of these folders, right? I'm not giving this main folder, but the folder above. So I hit accept. And now I have to give a target folder as well. So I hit target folder and it's just an empty folder, of course. Now this target folder is where your assets will be saved. You can basically pick any folder you want. I hit accept. And now all you have to do is generate, hit generate PBR materials and sit back and relax. So Blender immediately creates these materials and um, prepares the previews for us. Now once the previews are ready and not earlier, hit click when previews are ready and the materials will be saved. So if I now go ahead and show you my targets folder, here we go. So you can see that the first five assets are now saved here. Now the next batch is ready as well. So if I hit um, click when previews are ready and show the folder again. Now you can see he over here that the next 10 folders, the next 10 materials are over here. Now you can change this batch size which means uh, how many materials will be prepared at once and saved in one blender file. I can change it on go, so I can say for example, um, let's say 200 in order to create all the rest of the materials that I have in my parent folder. So I just click when previews are ready so that we can save this batch. And now it takes a little bit more time because Blender just created automatically all the, re all the rest of the materials that I have and it's now creating the previews. Now, I just have to wait until all the previews are ready. And if I click this button, I will see rest of the materials saved in this folder right over here. Now that all the previews are ready, I'm ready to hit this button one last time to save these assets in a solid Blender file so that I can use them later. I just click the button and I can see over here that the final batch of material assets are saved right over here. Now let's go ahead and create a new Blender and give this folder as one of my asset libraries and see if we can use them later on, later as well. So I just copy this pad and move this folder away. I'll go ahead and create a new Blender file. 
I'll go to Edit, Preferences, and to the File Paths. And over here, I'm going to add a new material library. And as a pad, I'm just I'm just going to give in what I just copied. Cool, that's it. So I can close this window, go ahead and open my asset browser once again. And if I click this button, I can see my new material library just created. And of course I have to go to shading because there is only materials there. And I can see over here all the materials we just created using one click PBR add-on. So if I just drag and drop, and we can already see this material applied to our model. Right, so that's about it, how to use this um, add-on. Now, using this one-click PBR add-on that I just showed you how to use, I turned all the textures, all the CC0 textures that I have, that I show you over here, into a big giant um, blender material asset. Now all these textures are CC0 textures and they the credit goes to their respective um, websites. So these are shared textures, Polyhaven, CG Bookcase and Ambient CG. And now all these PBR materials can be used as assets right inside Blender. In total, there's more than 3000 4K textures. So if I now go into Blender, we can take a look at all the available materials that are inside this giant library. There is over 3000 4K PBR materials inside this library that you can just apply in one click. And on my Gumroad page, you can download this giant library as well as the one click PBR add-on. So I will just quickly scroll down to show you all the materials that are available. I mean, there's just too many to show. I cannot possibly um, show you all of them. But yeah, let's just scroll all the way down so you can sort of have an overview of the, all the available um, materials. There's just, yeah, too many to show uh, in one video but you can be sure that there's basically every material that um, you could possibly need, at least in the beginning phase of a project. Right. So here it is, folks, the Blender PBR material assets plus one-click PBR add-on available together on this Gumroad page. It is available for $19 only. Um, I thought a bit about this price and after making many adjustments I thought this is the most fair price that I could come up with. So if you are interested in this material library and the uh, one click PBR add-on, consider purchasing and thank you for watching. Now as a final thing. We have an FAQ of this video and for some of the questions that might arise. So let's go ahead and talk about these questions. Let's talk about the one and only limitation of this add-on. So if you hit generate PBR materials and now you are waiting for the previews to complete and if you get unpatient and click this button before all the PBRs are ready then Blender will give an error. So if I just click now it seems that it continues to the next batch but it doesn't. It just crashes. Yeah, as you can see. So don't do that. Um, you just have to wait until all the previews are loaded inside the memory. Another question that might arise is how to structure your folders. So for example here I have an example structure where I pretend to have uh, textures from different resources and if I go into any of that I will see again folders of individual textures and if I go inside these textures 
what I'm going to find is a couple of images that describe the PBR values of this material, right? Now, the first question you might have is, in case you don't have the PBR material but just a base color, is it still gonna work? Yes, it is still going to work in case you only have a base color as a texture. Except that, of course, it's not going to be a PBR, but simply a plain image texture material. And this single image texture has to be inside a folder. And the name of the folder is going to be the name of the material that will be created and saved as an asset. So the add-on takes its name from the folder of the texture. Okay. Another obvious question that you are going to have is the licensing of these textures. So the source of these textures are these websites that I listed over here. This add-on and this library wouldn't be possible thanks to the open source spirit of these creators. These textures are licensed as CC0. So if you go into these websites, you can download all these textures already without having to pay anything. This library and this add-on is just a way of organized library that you can easily download and access and use right inside Blender. And once you have this library, again, as I said, there is no licensing issues. So you can do whatever you want with these materials. You can use them in your commercial projects or personal projects without any restrictions. One final question I can answer is what is the size of this library? And be prepared for this. This library, 3000 materials, asset library, weights approximately 120 gigabytes in size. So I'm sorry if this is a bummer, but this is actually a huge library. As I said, it is more than 3000 assets and their resolution is 4K. So you won't compromise anything. And as I said, I, as I also explained over here, it weights more than 120 gigabytes in size. So be aware of your bandwidth. Go to your library to download it, is what I would say. And I think that's it, folks. Thanks for watching, and I hope to see you in another video.